What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and we are unboxing today the Nadine microphone from Ear Trumpet Labs. They sent me one of these to check out, so let's open this thing up here. And Nadine has been sponsoring my podcast the last couple of months, which is really cool. They came on board to sponsor the International Online Bass Summit that we had, and we kept it rolling with the podcast. But I haven't tried this out yet, and I am primarily a classical player. Don't amplify that much, though I, I have gear, and I'm looking forward to checking this out. Okay, so here we go. Oh, and there's some heft to this, actually. This box, yeah, we got some, we got some gear in here. Let's see what we've got. What we got? Okay. I really like their branding too. Their website looks great, and it's just really interesting. So we got this from them, which we will open up. Ha ha! Suggestions for care and use of Nadine. I will heed those suggestions. Open this up, and whoa, ho! That is a beautiful microphone. Look at this thing. Wow, look at that. Okay, so we got, we've got the mic here. We've got XLR right here. So I'll XLR in and we have strap here. I guess I will learn about all this. Okay, so instructions for care and use of Nadine. It needs phantom power. It will patina with age. That's cool. Don't be surprised if your microphone's copper body darkens over time. Enjoy your new heirloom. Yeah, I can see that. That's cool. To mount on your base. So we will follow these instructions. Use the elastic Velcro strap, which is what is around here, I'm assuming. Use the elastic Velcro strap to secure the body to the tailpiece. Bring the head up and under the strings just above the tailpiece. Fit the rubber grommet at the back of the head between two strings. You can adjust the vertical position of the head and choose which strings to place it between to fine tune your tone on a particular base. On live use, make sure you are away from and behind the PA speakers. Feedback is caused by the microphone hearing the speakers. Monitoring using standard wedges will usually work fine as you keep them to the back of the microphone. If you're working with a live engineer who's unfamiliar with our mics and are skeptical of using a condenser, assure them they are designed for this. Have them start with a flat EQ and an open mind. The list of people that are into this mic is crazy. Here's a short clip of Christian McBride sharing his thoughts on the Nadine, and I will link up to the full video as well. It makes the instrument sound exactly how I hear it in, in my head. Um, I think what the people hear when they hear my instrument unamplified, the Nadine is able to capture that, but just make it louder. Okay, a few thoughts on the Nadine after using it for a couple weeks. This is Jason from the future here talking. The uh, it 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 rocks. I was surprised at just how good it sounds in this test that I'm about to roll. And this isn't a totally fair test because you would probably be putting this up against a DPA or something like that. Uh, I don't have that. I just don't do a lot of playing that uses that. I've used the DPA for a lot of orchestral gigs, but I have been sharing info about this mic with some colleagues here in the San Francisco Bay Area. And so expect more on this and how it stacks up to some other popular microphones in the future. All right, we've got all kinds of mics and pickups on the bass now. So we'll do some A-B testing. Again, I got the Zoom H6. I'm using my XY capsule. I use that for recording my bass a lot, but this isn't the sort of thing that I'd use in a live situation. The Nadine is something that I would use in that situation, so we've got that on here. I've got my trusty Upton bass pickup that I've got with a quarter inch jack, and I am also just recording on my camera audio so you can hear what that sounds like too. So I will play some different things and we'll just switch between all these different inputs. I don't do a lot of jazz playing these days, so hopefully that will suffice. Let's play in some different registers. I'll pizzicato a little bit higher.
Try some notes with the bow. I'll play an F major scale now, pizzicato, and then with the bow, and we'll flip between all these input sources. There is a heft to this microphone. It just feels like something that is built to last. It feels almost retro, but in a really good way. The, the, the look of the mic, I really think it's cool. The convenience of having that mic right there, it's made me do some recording projects that I probably wouldn't have done had I not had that mounted there. And something I do a bit of these days is teaching online. Maybe you can relate. And so I have been plugging into my Zoom H6, which is my audio interface interface that I typically use here at home and just having the Nadine plugged in and the students have been really into the sound that I've been getting through that. So I also on some of these little recording projects I've been doing here, I've just been blown away. I am a fan for sure. So that's just a bit about this microphone and everything from the look of the mic to the sound that I'm getting to the ease of mounting it to the durable feel. Uh, I'm a fan. If you enjoy this video and are thinking about gear, something that I've been into is upgrading my home recording gear. And I did a video about various cameras that I've been using and what seems to work well for musicians on different budgets. I'll link up to that here and we'll see you in the next video.